Good morning. I'm Denise Dryden doing my weekly informative um, sessions, I guess, with you on the phone. <laughs> you can tell I'm like spinning. There's something going on here. It's not on the phone. Good morning. I'm Denise Dryden and I'm here to do my weekly session with you on exploring what's going on, what's um, happening to us. And the topic that came up that I thought was really interesting is what happens when we're over scheduled, right? What happens when we have too many things going on? And you get to see sort of what happens when I spin out a little bit, um, when there's too many things going on. It's been kind of busy. Um, before I get going, I want to tell you about two things. Um, first, uh, I'm launching the Indigo Assignment. This book is, um, it's been, I've been working on this information since 2015, and I spent most of the fall and early spring of 2021 and 2022, so just these last months, putting the final touches on what is it like to be an Indigo. So you can find um, that on Amazon when it debuts on May 1st. Meanwhile, if you want to get on the list and get the updates and when you can order it and when the pre-orders come through, go to denisedryden.com and sign up. Uh, second is that uh, I'm getting a lot of calls for coaching and it makes sense because as we are sort of getting, getting um, inundated with solar flares, with global news, with these things that are going on, it makes sense that there are parts of us that we can't do anymore. So I'm open for coaching. Please give me, drop me a note here or um, go to denisedryden.com and send me a contact sheet. And uh, I've got a few spots and don't have a lot, but I would like to see who, who really wants some coaching at this time with this information. So let's talk about overscheduling. You know, what happens when we have too many back-to-back -back plans and no real downtime? And uh, with all these solar flares, what I notice is that we're being rattled. We're being rattled to our core. We have challenges in how to maintain our schedules. We are being cellularly, um, energetically upgraded and that we, it's time to sort of let go of some things that we can't continue. So this morning, you know, before I, I usually get up early and sit down with my tea and the sun's out and sort of like go, so what are we gonna talk about today? How am I gonna bring this into form? And it's interesting because I had two different um, friends text me this morning and one was saying like, wow, what is going on? My hips, my lower back is just aching. And I'm noticing that there's information here about hips, kind of like what happens when I'm carrying too many responsibilities, when I'm carrying people and problems, when I'm feeling unacknowledged and unsupported, and all of a sudden you just got a lot heavier. That was one. The other one was um, a girlfriend who said, wow, I unplugged yesterday, and it was something I needed to do for a long, long time. Completely turned off my phone, didn't do anything, other than just breathe and walk and hike and cook a good meal for myself. And, you know, I thought that's what we're talking about with overscheduling, right? So um, somehow we've packed so much into our days, right? That we've left little room for what happens when we get sick. What happens when we get, when we feel overwhelmed? What happens when we're trying to recalibrate or we're trying to unwind and integrate what's going on? So if we have too many things going on throughout the day, then it's too tight and too condensed and there's no room for anything new to come in and the things that we're holding on to start to activate and let us know that they're not important anymore. So sometimes it comes up in things like, um, uh, it's well, it's going to come out in ways that we don't sleep at night, in ways that we have soreness and illness in our body, in ways that we are irritable and short-tempered with the people we love, right? So what happens is we have to, we need time, we need downtime to spread out and and recalibrate. We need to be able to release this contracted day-to-day -day thing because sometimes by the time we get to Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, we're just like, ah, I don't know if I can do this, right? And we need to give our minds some space. We need to give our body some space. And for those of us who are sensitives, empathic, you know, energetically um, reactive, what we need is more downtime. And if you have kids, what they really need is an unscheduled 
free afternoon here and there, if not every afternoon. Because HS, HSP kids, kids who are on the spectrum, kids who have multiple intelligences moving it all the time and they're incorporating and integrating all of these new pieces, they need downtime. So what we know is that overscheduling can involve a lot of things, right? Overscheduling can mean like, oh no, how do I get my kid out of this, these activities? How do I tell my boss I'm not working longer? How do I reduce my hours? How do I take care of myself? How do I find out, find evenings or mornings or weekends when I can carve some things out? Um, it happens when we, um, when we over schedule, sometimes we do it because we're afraid we're not keeping up. We're afraid our kids aren't going to have the experiences that they need. We do it because there's external codependence, like, man, my family expects me to come to all of these events. Uh, my kids um, uh, will be mad at me if they don't get to hang out with their friends at night in the afternoon. And we also over schedule because um, it's a really easy way to numb out. The busier you get, the less you have to pay attention to the inner little voices going, hey, Denise, what are you doing? Slow down. Absolutely slow down. And it distracts us from what really matters. I think that's the bigger part is when we're overscheduled, we're just juggling, we're just in survival mode. We're just maintaining things um, and breathing very shallow from like the middle of our, <laughs> um, chest, our upper chest up and just like, <laughs> and we're barely keeping up. So. With the addition of these solar flares, that's what I really want to look at, is the fact that a solar flare, and, we've, and you can go back in my previous um, videos and look at this. When the solar flares hit, what they do is our bodies are impacted. Our digestion, our aches and pains, our ailments, everything that's in our physical, where we're gripped and where we're holding on to things, just starts aching because it's like, it's like having your finger in an electric so uh, socket and getting just a little bit of a zing every once in a while. Our bodies are like, stop, 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 right? Our minds are impacted because our nervous system gets activated. We get agitated. We get headaches. Our pineal gland just like hurts. Our nasal um, congestion, everything that happens is, is, is because our mind is just like going 100 miles an hour. Our senses are impacted. Our ears are ringing. You know, we've got a lack of taste. Sometimes food doesn't taste good. Things that we used to like doesn't work. You know, they don't work for us anymore. Um, there's overwhelm with too many senses coming in at once. All of a sudden, the TV's way too loud. The dog can't stop barking because it's clingy, because it's activated too. There's all this stuff going on, right? And our sleep and rest is impacted because we're having visceral dreams at night. We're tossing and turning, we're restless, we have body aches, and we're not getting any sleep. So if we're not getting any sleep and our body's unhappy and our mind is spinning and we are scheduled to the hilt, where is this going to break? What's going to happen? What I notice is that we're getting, we're getting sick. We're getting sick and having to spend two and three days in bed and then feeling like we're behind and that we've missed out, right? So when we have a full schedule and we don't know how to adjust, then these downloads and these upgrades and these adjustments and these messages that are coming through us, through our bodies, with the help of these solar flares, are ending up not being able to be addressed, right? So when we carry too much and we feel exhausted or overwhelmed or angry or short-tempered, or we have body aches and we're sore and we're worried and we're unhealthy and we're sick, we are vulnerable and we are susceptible to being knocked down. You know, within the tarot card, they call that the, um, the tower. It's when, hey, we've been tapping you on the shoulder for days, for weeks, for months, and now you're not listening, so we're just gonna blow the whole thing up. So I have five tips for you on what to do when we're dealing with overscheduling, right? Okay, so the first one is watch how your body and your mind and your feelings are reacting to what I'm saying right now. <laughs> do you want to argue with me? Do you want to shake your head and discount what I'm saying? Do you want to minimize, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't have my life. Because I've been on the phone with clients all week who have been in levels of pushback when they're talking about what happens when they're overwhelmed and overscheduled. So if you wanna argue, if you know that this is a clue that something's resonating with you somewhere, pay attention to that, right? That's the first one. Number two, do an emotional 
um, a mental and physical check-in, right? Have you been agitated more than usual? Have you been more reactive, sad, emotional than you usually are? Have you been sick? Are you getting one thing after the other and battling fatigue? Check in with these three areas, mental, emotional, and physical. Number three, how are you, how, not just you, but then look around. If you're in a partnership, if you're a marriage, if your spouse, your children, look around and say, what are the symptoms that they're showing? What kind of overwhelm am I seeing? What kind of exhaustion? What kind of reactions am I seeing in them? So we start with ourself first. We look at ourself and then we look at the others and go, oh my gosh. And look at your pets. Look at your, you know, your colleagues. Look at everything around you and go like, wow, everybody's sort of swimming with their bed, head barely above water right now, right? Number four, turn off the input vehicles as much as you can, whether that's TV, whether that's meetings with family and friends, whether that's school assignments and projects, things that are coming in that, that need your attention or that are, ta even if it's just, you know, like I, look, I like to watch these TV shows, they quote unquote relax me at night, turn it all off. Because what we're trying to do is create some silent space where you can go, how overwhelmed or, or overscheduled am I really? Because any noise, anything that taps you or distracts you, keeps you focused over here and then takes it away from what's going on inside. And number five, carve out hours in the days where you don't have to try to catch up. What I mean by that is do not take an hour, you know, go in an hour or two late to work and then go have all of this pressure on you. Like now that I'm late, I have to blah, 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 blah. So carve out, stay home for half a day, move around um, on your schedule, um, block out, you know, say there's no activities today. We're not doing any of this. We're just going to go for a walk outside or, or you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just going to sit here and drink some tea and relax and sit quietly and do nothing. Allow your body to receive some space because this is what is most important is what are you carrying? What are you taking on? What are you trying to support on holding all of this while we are being inundated with electric shock flares that are um, rocking us around and, make, and letting us know, hey, put some things down and focus on you. So this is what I've been doing a lot of lately is, you know, self-knowledge and focusing on stability and adaptability when things like this are happening. So if you're more interested, if you're interested in more information, you can always find me on denisedryden.com and I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself, get outside and breathe. Take care. Bye-bye.